Obviously, you love it being yeah, in the kitchen. It was the science of food that right, I was taken with right. in the end. Of course, that when you're interested as much as I am in food, mm. then you, you, you're often taken down one path or another. Sure. And it was the science of food. So uh -huh. when I left Coriori, I went to work at um, a place called uh, North Coat Manor, right. which is a Michelin star restaurant just uh -huh. near Blackburn. Yeah, very well. Uh, mm. I was invited to work there, which was fabulous. Wow. You know, what a great invite. I couldn't turn that down. No, absolutely not. And That's found... like going to university, isn't it, really? I suppose so. That. It was a bit like that. And I was only there a short time. Right. It's 15 hours a day. Hard work. And, uh, but I was wondering, why am I here, you know? I've just, two minutes ago, I was in Coronation Street, <laughs> and now I'm in a Michelin star restaurant. Um, so I didn't really know where life was taking me. Right. And then I was introduced by Lisa, who is the chef there, to the last handmade Lancashire cheesemaker. Ah. Because we'd been talking, Lisa and I, about at uh, lunch times, we were talking about what I know about food, and she was asking me the same question you sure. just asked. And uh, I was saying to her, well, European cheeses, French wines, Italian wines, <clears throat> very interested in all those. Mm. So she said, I'm going to introduce you to the last handmade Lancashire cheesemaker. So she did, and I right. met Bob. Oh, a lovely right, okay. guy, Bob, Bob Kitching. And he was the last handmade Lancashire cheesemaker. So I said, Bob, it can't be. No, we can't let it happen. So I said, it. are you teaching anyone? He said, no. I said, right, well, now I know right. why I've been coming down this path. Right. We've met, and Isn't I'd like you to thing? teach me how to make cheese. He taught me to make a Lancashire crumbly-style cheese right. first, which is the easiest of the four, really. OK. Uh, and Bob said, enter it into the British Cheese Awards. So reluctantly, I'd only just started to make cheese, I entered it. Um, I won the gold medal. Wow. And Bob won the silver. <laughs> Was Bob a wee bit annoyed? <laughs> Bob, no. we're like, hang on a minute. <laughs> What's no. going on here? On the contrary, Bob put his arm around me. He said, now, oh. you know, learn the other cheeses and maybe you could, you've got a position here in your life, you know, you're not working yeah. at Coriori anymore and you've got the wherewithal to maybe carry the company. So. Absolutely. Think about it. So it was Bob's advice that I took. Oh, isn't it funny how life turns out, though, isn't it? Yeah, and it's just that little period. I was thinking, where's it all leading me? Yeah. But hey, I just and went it with was. it. I just and went it with was. it. And it's been hugely successful, hasn't it? Massively successful. Well, Lancashire cheese is a funny one. It's difficult for to, to break the boundaries of Lancashire. Right. We sell it really well within Lancashire. Right. And uh, we have multi-award winning mm. cheeses, as you probably know. Our blue cheese is the World Cheese Award winner for the last four years in its class. Good grief. <laughs> no, so it's a great cheese. <laughs> it is. But the, the difficulty for us, Lancashire cheesemakers, is to break those boundaries, and that's what right. we're trying to do. OK. Because I know you're going to be doing... You're doing festivals. I love this. You're doing cheese festivals. Yes, well, we are. Well, food festivals, food not festivals. just cheese. It's everything else as well. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of food festivals up and down the country, yeah, as we all know. Sure. It's not, it's not news anymore. There's lots of them. It's a new rock and roll, Lorraine. Is it? It is. I love it. I think it's wonderful. And so do I. And the thing about cheese is you can't really have cheese without having wine, do you think? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> then we wonder why I came into cheese. Because <laughs> it did start with the wine. Oh, but yes, yeah. we're doing lots of festivals, so we're doing cooking demonstrations. I, obviously, I cook. I'm not a chef. I'd like to tell people I'm a cook. Right. I'm really passionate about it. And I like to feel like we can entertain as well. Mm. So we'll have people on the stage, we'll have That'd some eggs, brilliant. we'll have some flour, we'll have some fun, generation game style fun. That sounds brilliant. But then at the end, we come out with some real nice food, people have learnt something, and that's generally what I do.